it's Joe from Emily Cat 176 and it's Wednesday which means there is another poem this week it is a poet that I haven't uh, read out before so off we go address to my soul my soul be not disturbed by planetary war Remain securely orbed in this contracted star. Fear not pathetic flame, your sustenance is doubt. Glassed in translucent dream, they cannot snuff you out. Wear water or a mask or unapparent cloud. Be brave and never ask a more defunctive shroud. The universal points are shrunk into a flower. Between its delicate joints, chaos keeps no power. The pure integral form, austere and silver dark, is balanced on the storm in its predestined arc. Address to my soul by Eleanor Wiley. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of Eleanor Wiley before. I hadn't. This poem came out on the 5th of the 1st, 1928. And it focuses, the poem focuses on inner strength. It's talking about not looking to, um, look to outside sources which is really quite apt in the times we're living in now um, it, I liked it it's short it's not an overly long poem as you can see it, it's a rhyming poem but um, yes I did like it Eleanor Wiley was born in September 1888 and lived until December 1928. She was 48 when she passed. She was um, born in Somerville, New, Jer New Jersey to a wealthy family and she was actually trained to be a society wife. That was meant to be her future but she rebelled against that and she, lived, she uh, led quite a colourful life lots of marriages, affairs, and both she and her sister were well-known beauties of the time as well. So Eleanor, um, she suffered from ill health. She had very high blood pressure for most of her life, and this is what led to her death at the age of only 43. I think I said 48, but she was 43. So she published four volumes of poetry between 1921 and 1928. And as I said, 1928 was um, the, the year that she passed. So what do you think of that one? I quite liked it. As I said, I'm liking all of the poems that I am looking at. As I said, this one, one, two, three, four, five stanzas. And a good message. A really good message, I think, to... I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes. To focus on inner strength. Don't look to external forces. Concentrate on your inner strength. And that's where you'll find your answers so yes that's another one that um, I can do like do you see the messages that I have seen in this poem and this is why I'm reading the poems one I want poetry to be more mainstream again but two to start discussions do you and, and I, I think this with all the poems that I have read out. Are you hearing the messages that I'm hearing in them? And it's 
as I said, I, I love looking up these poems. And as I said, I had never heard of Eleanor Wiley. She was popular in the 1920s. She was very popular in the 1920s. Uh, and as I said, that's, well, that's what, nearly a hundred years ago. But even with that, the messages are still there to be seen. Look how old Shakespeare's uh, work is. That's even older, you know, it's, go it's going back even further, but you can still see the messages coming through. I saw something a couple of months ago and I was... I was looking at it and I was thinking it was a modern production, but I'm thinking, this is King Lear. This is the story of King Lear. So the messages in the poems, they, they live forever, really, because they go forward, don't they? So, yes, the one I've got next week, it's a very well-known poem. Um... But I saw a documentary recently on that person and it, yeah, made me think a little bit differently. Not much, but a little bit differently. So that's this week's poem. If there are any you would like me to read out, please let me know. Of course, keep in mind copyright. And I, th I think, did I say it in the last week? I didn't realise the copyright was really only 50 years. So, as I said last week, I was looking at Sylvia Plath, but her, a lot of her work is still under copyright. And The Filling Station. Oh, did any of you look at The Filling Station? I really wanted to read that one out. But that is still under copyright. Elizabeth Bishop. So I've also realised that I've been reading out quite a few American poets. Let me know if, if there are any, and I'm going to look too, like any other countries. I think there is still a poet laureate in England, I think. Uh, here in Australia, Banjo Patterson was known as a bush poet. And for anyone who doesn't know who he is, he wrote The Man from Snowy River. But he was known as a bush poet. But I might, I might actually look for some Australian poets that I can actually read out, you know, that aren't under copyright. So, yeah. Yet another poem that I actually, I did like. As I said, I have liked all the poems I've read out. And it is such a, a nice way to spend some time reading through poems. So I hope you're enjoying this. Um, could I please ask, because I am getting people who are watching the channel and aren't subscribed. If you are enjoying what I'm doing, please would you consider subscribing? Because I am trying to build the channel. As I said, it's not about me. I try and promote arts, artists, poets, books, etc. So if that's of interest to you, yeah, please consider subscribing. Okay, enjoy the rest of your week. I will be back with books on, Wed on no, today's Wednesday, on Friday. I'm losing track of days and I'm seeing a show this weekend. I was going to be seeing one on Friday, but that's been cancelled due to ill health. So, so yeah, enjoy your week, and I will be back on Friday. Okay, bye.